My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I'm here in Urkenthan with the Nightingales. We're here to destroy Mercer Frey. Let's go. This is where we saw Mercer. We must be getting close. I should hurt, certainly hope that we're getting close. This has been a long journey. The stench. This place reeks of farmer. This must be their home. Uh, what the? We'll have to keep silent if we want to avoid drawing their attention. Don't push me. Silver, or a callum, or a calcum. This place is like a maze. How did the dwarves find their way around? <laughs> and that's your biggest concern. Mercer leaves here with the eyes. We'll never see him again. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, look. I wonder what happens if I activate this lever. <laughs>
What's this? Yes, I recognize those vials. Frostbite venom. A thief. Thief's last words. Nobody thought they were real, but I've seen them. The eyes of the snow elves. The dwarves thought they took them from the Falmer, but they themselves were fooled. A statue built in secret by the slaves. The eyes burn into you, and I see them even now. Seraphia escaped through the collapsed through the collapsing tunnel, but he'll never escape what I've seen, what we've seen. Men will never believe him, and he'll be driven mad by the knowledge that he'll never see them again. But I may yet see them again before I die. Whatever that means. All right, let's go. supposed to be accomplished thieves and nightingales and yet you're setting off those chimes watch out oh. okay just stand there fortunately for you you're not a vampire yet <laughs> Sneak through or take them down. I don't care. As long as we get to Mercer. I do I, care. There will be no do. sneaking. Well, initially, maybe some sneaking, followed by killing. You go ahead and see what's there. I'm going to go ahead and feed. Seriously. forgot how cowardly you all are. I want to see you fight. I heard something. Come, take the darkness into the place. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Good job, the both of you. going. I'm going to have 
so much uh, blood from this little adventure, I might need to start stocking it away. I guess we're going through this gate. I can hear water rushing through these pipes. They must be beneath the lake. There's more Falmer up ahead. With any luck, this will be Mercer's final day of life. <laughs> For your sake, I hope so. Ah, did someone Wait, push me? I hear something. All right, then I'll let the two of you handle this. That's what happens when you cross. Nice.
got it. Something's coming. Too much. Actually, I'm just gonna put on my backpack. It's clear. All right, whoever's pushing me. see that ramp. tell you my lock picking can be absolutely horrible
Got it. Then this is it. We do this for Gallus and for the guild. We have to get the key back. All right. Start off with some virulent poison. We have to get the key back. He's here, and he Not hasn't alone. seen us yet. Bring off, wash the door. I lost. Nothing's get by me. Climb down that ledge. See if you can. Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? supposed to be impressed give me the key mercer what's carlisle been filling your head with tales of thieves with honor oaths right with falsehoods and broken promises nocturnal doesn't care about you the key or anything having to do with the guild it's not about nocturnal this is personal. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Those of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. <laughs> the difference is, I don't care about you or your life. Clear, you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it will be you. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale Black. Carlyle, I'll deal with you after I rid I'll myself of my your blade in your heart. In the meantime, perhaps you and Prignol should What's happening? Found Let's see, how do we want to approach this? You're already dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this was his famous sword. I think I'll take it just to have it as a souvenir. All right. That should do it. a shame if the nightingales didn't make it. I suppose I get to keep the eyes of the Falmer and the Skeleton. No. Oh no. It's that damn Carlyle. Maybe Brynjolf died. Wait, no, that's Brynjolf. It's Bandit. How did you know we'd be here? Amazing. All right, let's go. I can't believe it's over. 25 years in exile and just like that. It's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the Skeleton Key. <laughs> if I return it, it sounds like it will be a simple task. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Mm, of course not. When the Skeleton Key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. I take it. You never used the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Then, you'd best get started. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. Mm, of course not. I'm afraid not. you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Oh, of course. Worry, because I may not return the key. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre. I certainly don't need it as much as you. Uh oh, I've what is this? this? Almost my oh, a bow. Life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. Mm, the Nightingale Bow. <laughs> I appreciate that, Carlia, but my own crossbow. It's just my favorite weapon of choice, especially when it comes to hunting. 
So, please explain. I don't understand why you won't come with me. I mean, I realize that you are borderline incompetent, but really? I've been a Nightingale for a very long time. I sold my allegiance to Nocturnal in exchange for many profitable years of thieving. Falling in love with Gallus was wrong. It was a distraction that allowed the Sepulchre to be desecrated, and it likely cost him his life. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place again. <laughs> Tell me about the conduit inside the Sepulchre. The conduit to Nocturnal's realm, the realm of Everglow, has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by man and myrrh in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a complete mystery. You know, I think I may actually be afflicted by Nocturnal's turn of uh, favor. That would explain why I haven't been able to influence and persuade people. Hmm. All right then, what is the story with the Pilgrim's Path? Even though Nocturnal doesn't desire worship in the traditional sense, the Twilight Sepulchre propagated a small group of priests. Of course, they never come into direct contact with Nocturnal, but they insisted they had her favor. As part of their duties, the priests created all sorts of baseless rituals and ceremonies, all on Nocturnal's behalf. This didn't interfere with the Nightingales. These priests weren't a threat to the Skeleton Key, or the conduit to Nocturnal's realm, so they were tolerated. One of their ceremonies involved the Pilgrim's Path, a so-called test of worthiness. If a Pilgrim was able to complete the path, it was said that they would live forever in twilight. What that means is anyone's guess. All right. Well, this does sound interesting. I may have to look into it. All right, then. I see a chest over here with my name on it. Or not. All right, Brynjolf. Good luck with the Thieves' Guild. I'll be seeing you. Carlia, good luck. No rough stuff. Just good luck. All right, let's go, bandit. Yes. I think we're going to go back to Rollinwood for the time being. I need to think and decide if I really want to give up this skeleton key. The power that it could give me. It's just too much to pass up. Alright, come on. Let's go. Start keeping 